third topic in this masterclass, which is social media marketing. And at most cases, people when they talk about social media, they talk about Facebook and Instagram. Honestly, they talk about Facebook and Instagram because Facebook and Instagram are by far the max used social media platforms across the world with the highest number of users on it. Most times when you're on social media, mainly Facebook and Instagram, you come across ads on social media. And most of these ads say something known as sponsored. Now in this masterclass, I want to make an ad live in front of you and show you how you can make an ad for yourself. Now, please remember when I'm actually teaching this in class, it takes me like 20 hours to teach this. But in this masterclass for sakes of examples, I'm going to do this in the next five to 10 minutes. So at least you know the power, the absolute power of social media marketing and how you can actually bring sales to your website via doing Facebook ads or Instagram ads. So let's take it live and let me show you how to make an Instagram ad or a Facebook ad live in the next five to seven minutes. So I'm logged on to my facebook.com and now I'm going to click on this plus sign. I'm going to click on create and I'm going to say create an ad. Now you can see that this is my dashboard while I advertise on Facebook or Instagram and I'm going to make a quick ad. So I'm going to quickly go to this button known as create. And now Facebook is asking me, hey, why do you want to make an ad? Do you want more brand awareness, which basically means do you want more likes on your Facebook page or your Instagram page? Do you want more engagement, which means do you want more comments or shares for your posts on Instagram or Facebook? Or do you want more traffic to come to your website? So if you want someone to come to your website from Instagram or Facebook, use traffic. If you want more app installs, click on app installs. If you're a musician, you want more people to watch your video, click on video views. Lots of options, right? In most cases, I always select traffic because I want someone to click on the ad and I want them to eventually come to my website. That's my biggest goal. I want someone to click on my social media ad and come to my website because I want them to check my products out on my website. That's generally my biggest goal why I'm doing social media ads. So in today's masterclass, let's choose the objective traffic. And I'm going to click on continue. And I'm just going to name this campaign masterclass dummy. And I'm going to go further quickly, quickly, quickly. And I'm going to click on next. And I'm going to tell them, hey, you know, choose where I want to drive traffic. I'll say I want to drive my traffic to website, which basically means that if somebody clicks on the ad, I want them to go to my website. And now I'm going to quickly go down. And here is power of doing social media ads, because I'm going to show you how you can dissect all the audiences on social media and find your target audience without paying to advertise for any other audiences, but find your specific audience on social media and show your ad only and only to them. You know, when you can do that, you will realize that you're spending your money effectively. You're only spending money on people who you think should see your ads. It's not like a television ad where you put up an ad and a million people see it and you don't even know who saw it or was the person on the opposite side even relevant for your products. But via Facebook ads and Instagram ads, you can guarantee that the right target audience sees your ad. Now, currently you can see that in audience section, I am currently advertising to everybody in India. Okay. Between the age group of 18 and 65, gender all. And you can see that my potential reach is for up to 360 million people, roughly 36 crore people. You can see that I will be reaching out to so many people if I advertise, but I totally don't want to do that. So I'm just going to narrow down and I'm going to come down to my city. So I'm going to come down to my city, Mumbai. And now you can see that the entire number has changed and has gone down to 21 million people. And now if I want to advertise, I can advertise only and only to Facebook and Instagram users of my city. But let's say that I don't want to advertise to the city. I think it's too big to advertise. And let's say that I own a restaurant somewhere here. Let's just take an example. And let's say if I own a restaurant somewhere here, what I can do is if you're a restaurant owner, in most cases, you don't want to advertise to the entire city because no one's going to travel 30 kilometers or 30 miles and come to your restaurant, which is why you mainly want to advertise to people in and around your vicinity, which you can totally do because Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram know where you are at all times and they know your location and you can use that to advertise. Let me show you how you can click on this button called drop pin. And you can actually drop your pin saying, hey, my restaurant is somewhere here. And now you can say, I want to target people within only 
two kilometer radius of where my restaurant is. So now you can see that the target audience out here is only and only 490,000, right? 4.9 lakhs is the audience out here. And let's say that, you know, you don't want to target everyone between 18 and 65 and your audience you want that you want to get to your restaurant are like university going students or college going students. You can say that, hey, I only want people between the age group of 18 and 25 to come to my place. You know, so now you can see that you're only and only targeting 1,50,000 people. Further, this could be people even traveling in this location. So if you really want to target people who only and only live in this location but not travel, you can even change that. You can go and change this setting to people living in this location. Facebook basically calculates where you sleep at night from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. And that's most likely where you live. So let's go and check this box. And now you can see that you're targeting 1,20,000 people who live in this area between the age group of 18 and 25. Very interesting, right? Now, let's just say that if your restaurant is an expensive restaurant and you want people who have a slightly higher purchasing power to enter your restaurant, you can totally do that. From this crowd of 1,20,000 people, you can totally filter and you can find people with a higher purchasing capacity. Well, to do that, you can do something very simple. You can just find out how many people probably own an iPhone because if they own an iPhone, they're already spending a lot to purchase that phone, which means they might have a higher purchasing capacity and that might be an appropriate target audience for your restaurant. So let's go find um, iPhone users, you know. So I'm going to first just quickly increase this radius because I think that people at least from 5 kilometer radius are willing to travel to a restaurant. So 5 kilometers is nothing. So you can see that the audience size out here has increased to from 1,20,000 to 3,90,000 people. And now I'm going to go to detail targeting. I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to click on behaviors. Then I'm going to go to mobile device user. And I'm going to click on all mobile devices by brand Apple. And now let's find out how many of these people own an iPhone X. Let's quickly see. So fewer than 1000 people. Let's click on XS, XS Max, you know, and you can see it's become 1600 already. Let's say XR, 2400, iPhone 8, and now you can see 2700, iPhone 8 Plus, and you can see 3000 people. So what I can actually guarantee you is that within a five kilometer radius of where my restaurant is, I have 3000 people between the age group of 18 and 25, who I think will have a high purchasing capacity. And that I think is just an appropriate audience for people to come to my restaurant. Now, this was just one example. Facebook ads can be used in multiple different ways. Let me just quickly go and give you lots of more examples, okay? So I'm gonna very quickly just remove this radius as it restricts an audience size. I'm just gonna make it Mumbai for now. And I just want you to very quickly see the different type of targeting options you have. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of these users out here. And I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to click on demographics. You can even find people studying in a particular university. So if I want to find people who study at a popular university in Mumbai called NMIMS, I can click out here. And all people who have ever taken a photo at NMIMS University, you can see there are 5,300 people who study at this university. So if you want to make an ad specifically to students of this university, you could. Or if you want to find people who've just gotten married, you know, you're a honeymoon company or you're a jeweler or you're a, you know, a wedding planner, you could click on demographics, you could click on life events, and then you could click on any of these options, newly engaged one year, newly engaged three months, newly engaged six months, you know, the minute you upload a photo of you getting engaged to someone on Instagram or Facebook, or even if your friend uploads something like that on Instagram or Facebook, immediately Instagram and Facebook put you in a bucket called newly engaged. And then they start showing you only ads which are relating to your future wedding. So for example, like a wedding planner, a jeweler, a honeymoon planner, a dress planner, any of these, you know. So... This is the power of Facebook ads. You can actually use so many different options that they have. I want to show you some other magical feature of Facebook ads and Instagram ads, okay? Now, let's just say if you're a business or if you're a marketer who has a database of names, numbers, email IDs, you can take that database, upload it onto Facebook, and advertise only and only to those people and nobody else besides them, you know? All you need to do is you need to have a database. Let me show you how. So I'm very quickly going to go right now 
um, to this thing known as custom audiences out here. And I'm gonna click on create new custom audience. And now I'm gonna say that I'm gonna upload a customer list. So I'm gonna click on customer list. Then I'm gonna quickly go on next. I'm gonna say no. And now I'm gonna upload a file and I'm gonna upload an entire file of my customer's database. Okay, so can you see I have this entire database out here of names, numbers, email IDs. And I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm gonna show you how many name, number, email IDs I have. 1,229, that's the size of this database that I have right now. And I'm gonna quickly upload it out here onto Facebook and I'm gonna click on next. And then I'm gonna say, hey, this is everyone's phone number and these are their email IDs, upload and create. Now, all I wanna tell you is in the next two minutes, Facebook will actually scan all these phone numbers and email IDs and ask themselves a question, hey, can I find this email ID on Facebook or Instagram? Is there a user who uses Facebook or Instagram with this email ID or with this phone number? And if yes, my ads will only and only go to them. Cool, right? So let's check how many of these 1,229 people Facebook could find on their platform. I'm gonna click on upload. And now you can see they're actually finding people for me. They're hashing my entire database for me right now. And boom, out of 1,229, they could find 1,227 people in this database, right? So now you know that I'm advertising very specifically to these 1,227 people and nobody else besides these 1,227 people. And I think that's the power of Facebook ads. So I'm very quickly gonna go down further. I'm gonna even, and you can also choose by the way where you wanna show your ad. So you can say, hey, I want my ad only on Facebook and only on Instagram. And I want my ad to be only and only on feeds. Also, I want my ad to be on Facebook and Insta stories. I don't want my ad anywhere else. So you can choose exactly where you want your ad to be. So I've chosen for now my ad to be on Facebook newsfeed, Insta newsfeed, Insta stories, and Facebook stories. Now, very quickly, let's go ahead and make the ad. I'm just gonna show you. Now here you can see I have my Facebook page and my Insta page and I'm gonna quickly choose a single image ad. So I just wanna do a static image ad. And now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click on add media. I'm gonna click on add image and I'm gonna try finding out some old ad of mine. Okay, so I'm just gonna select this ad for now. And this is how it will look like square and this is how it will look like on the story. Okay, so here's the ad and you can see that the ad will quickly show up out here. Now you can see this is how the ad's gonna look like on Facebook feeds, right? And now if I wanna add some text, I'm gonna first add a headline, I'm gonna call it certified digital marketing course, you know? And I'm gonna add some text. Everything that I wrote is already out here. There's an image and in the image you can see this is how it looks. And now if you see, this is how it will look like on a story as well. The same image and the copy is already here. And I'm gonna tell Facebook, hey, you know, if anybody clicks on this ad, send them to my website, www.iide.co. And that's about it. My ad is absolutely ready. You know, all I gotta do is click on the publish button and boom, my ad's ready.